the anger building up inside. Eating away at me. Way to bring that bird down, Snake. Drebin. And you got yourself a souvenir, too. A grenade launcher. Nice. That's a real user-friendly weapon. Not much use to me without an ID, though. I laundered this one free of charge. What's the catch? Only that you give it to me when you're done with it. A weapon with that many decades of rage stored up inside it? Now that's a collector's item. How old was she? I'd say about 20. But she had years of soldier's rage hidden away in that youthful body of hers. Soldiers? Yeah, the soldiers of Ake. A place that hasn't seen peace in a long, long time. She was captured by one side or another, and kept caged up like an animal, along with God knows how many other kids. Anonymous violence. Exactly. It's unknown whether her captors were with the government or the rebels. In any case, they got their kicks by abusing these helpless little kids day after day after day. That constant barrage, that battlefield rage slowly built up inside their bodies, their minds. The kids tried to keep each other's spirits up, always clinging to the hope that someone would come to their rescue, barely surviving off of scraps of food. But those soldiers didn't stop. 
They call the kids parasites and shit-eating ravens. Beat them even harder. Then one morning, the soldiers just up and left, leaving the surviving kids to be eaten alive by the birds. Almost like one of those sky burials. One by one, their bodies were picked apart by raven's beaks, until finally the flock came for her. But by some miracle, their beaks cut her bonds instead. And like that, she was liberated. In that instant, she was filled with an uncontrollable rage, and it smothered her soul. She ripped the ravens pecking at her to pieces, and then went after the soldiers. And when she finally caught up with them, she waited until nightfall like a hunter awaiting its prey. They say that when a raven cries, a man dies. And that's exactly what happened that night. Screeching and cawing, she killed every last living being in the camp. Both the soldiers and the civilians they'd enslaved. In her eyes, there was no longer a difference. The cruelty her friends had suffered. The pain and humiliation she'd endured. Hers was the distillation of the rage that decades of war had imparted on those soldiers. Mm. It was her strength. And her greatest weakness. You're something else, Snake. You managed to cleanse Raven of her rage. No, seriously. You're the seed of war. In fact, I'd say you might even be war itself. Draven. Maybe it's still too early to tell. You still got half the B&B core ahead of you. Keep your eye on the ball, pal. <sighs> Snake, I have to apologize. The three vans that came out with us are decoys. The real one is floating down the river, headed downstream. I managed to get in touch with the children. The Pix is safe. We're going to rendezvous on the riverbank downstream. Land and air routes are cut off. Oh, but there's a cruiser waiting for us. The Volta River is our only chance of escape. Oh, let's get out of here. Hurry. Good thinking. Uh, oh, oh, oh. need to feel the wind anymore. There's no need to keep lying to myself. I only get off my bike when I fall in love. Or... Oh, oh. snake. Give me a hand. Yeah. Uh. The underground aqueduct leads to the river. There should be fewer of them down there.
Liquidated. Not bad. Where's the pigs? <laughs> that no longer matters. Where is it? Everything. And now, thanks to her, I finally have it. The thing I've sought for so long. Big Boss. Put down the gun, Snake. It's already too late. You almost did it. But it looks like I win after all. For one last smoke. Huh. You think you're a big boss now? <coughs> oh. Guilty as charged. But all that ends today. <coughs> comes to CQC, I've got the upper hand. Uh, even if you do get a hold of the system, you'll only have one part of the Patriots AI. Uh, the military part. What of it, brother? It's only a matter of time before I have everything. Remember, GW? The AI they think they lost? It's mine. I'm a part of my army. Impossible. We destroyed it. Your worm only managed to cut GW into little pieces. Pieces we were able to reconstruct. And then we stowed it away inside JD's network. This man's body has served me well, allowing me to pass every security barrier between me and GW. After all, the Patriot system is nothing more than a machine. Now that GW is a spook inside the network, there's no way JD would recognize it as an external threat. Once I destroy JD with a nuclear strike, the Patriots Network will be mine. And then, I'll build my haven, free from all forms of control. I'll cast aside my old identity and take my own name for the first time. Created by the Patriots. We're not men. We're shadows in the shape of men. We're freaks who never should have existed. We're a sister. Insurance that future generations. 
missions never prosper. The Patriots saw fit to create us, and in doing so became our only raison d'etre. And Big Boss, and become a patriot myself. It all began with Zero and Big Boss. Our purpose in life is to fulfill our destinies. And once all is returned to Zero, the world can be reborn. live, the world will not know an age of light. If we're to pass the baton to the next generation, the only choice left to us is death. Boss. Good. The players have all assembled, Snake. The time has come for you to witness. Witness our moment of triumph!
Ah! <sighs> 